Until John, who you start to see? We come and got to accomplish what we've been trying to do for six weeks. Um, you know, it was it was a great way to start the season. Um, yeah, get back in here, full crowd, the atmosphere. Uh, the players have been working hard for six weeks, so to get rewarded with that type of win is a good start. To get jumped like you did and then settle and get back in. What did you focus on when you were trying to settle it down? From there? Uh, look, they come out and they they made some good shots. They, they come out well organized. Uh, for us, it's about how we play more than anything else, and we just weren't really executing. And then once we settled and we got a feel for the game, uh, we played really well the rest of the way. The second quarter, our defense was very good. How do you describe Christ's performance when he had 22 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 6 steals? Christ's performance when he had 22 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 6 steals. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. I've been I've been talking about our defense and rebounding and and different things and I've always said like it's not always up to the big guys responsibility for rebounding so with the likes of him Mitch Norton got some great offensive rebounds Luke Travers uh, Webster you, you know the guards play a very integral part in that all and he was rewarded tonight with 12 of them Bryce, you big games how across the board completeness with all those Um, I mean, I'm just happy we got the win. Um, at the end of the day, uh, it was a lot of excitement. And uh, I think the good thing about us was, uh, as Coach said, you know, they came out and blitzed us to start the game. But then we trusted our defense. And all of a sudden, they kind of got our offense flowing. And um, from there, we were just locked in. And it seemed like everybody was connected pretty much for uh, most stretches of the game. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how I played. But I'm happy with how the team came together as well. It was a great team effort. Uh, we got a little more aggressive and assertive. Uh, you know, we played a little bit on our heels to start the game with. Uh, you know, I think just first game, it, it, you just don't know how it's all going to go. But then once we picked up our aggression, the guy defending the ball, the guy defending the ball screen, but the guys off the ball were, were very proactive and you saw the deflections and the steals from that. Uh, and I think tonight was the first time where we saw guys like trusting what we've been doing for six weeks. And I, I don't know, but I think they had 13 points in the second quarter. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. And on the playmaking side, well, it was 24 assists for luck, but obviously Bryce had a big number, but Travis and Thomas, I think both had six and seven respectively. Just getting that assist number and playmaking from your secondary options, what does that do for your offense? And what do you think about that tonight? Look, as we constructed the roster, that's a very important piece. When I when I look at a basketball team, you've got to be able to play, share the ball, and be willing to share the ball so we go from good to great with our shot selection. And when you have willing participants in that, everyone gets to be an active participant in the game, and you saw that tonight. And Bryce, similar question to you, with that big assist total and playing with players that are passing the ball and have that mindset, what does that do for you as an offensive star? And I mean, <clears throat> it's just great the fact that we have so many different weapons and everybody has a selfless mindset um, trying to pass up good shots for great ones. So obviously, just as much as my teammates benefit from it, I benefit from it as well. But that's what it's about, playing for each other on both ends of the floor. Um, but to do this in the first game of the season, you know, where uh, it actually counts, it was uh, pretty exciting um, to see. But, you know, we still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, look, uh, you, you could see he brings great versatility in the front court, uh, capable scorer, very willing passer, and just a smart basketball player. So I think you're going to see uh, stat lines where he can have like a Luke Travers Im impact where it's points one night, rebounds, assists, steals, um, and, and he really complements what our group is about. We weren't sure whether you're going to go with Travers or Blanchard. Yeah. How, how was that decision made around what you wanted to be done? I flipped a coin at the start of the game and said, Blanchfield, you won the co coin cost. No, look, in all honesty, um, Luke Travers has come off the bench his whole career, um, but he's also been productive. We got Corey Webster, you could argue he's a starter. Jesse Wagstaff come on and played very meaningful minutes. Majuk, Majuk. Like, 
everyone has a role and the, the best thing so far is preseason. everyone got to play everyone got to start be in different roles so now we're just going to go in in as a team and it was the first time i've had a full deck of cards to play with oh it's always fun you know that's that's my brother right there so uh it's always a joy to compete against him but um yeah, I was just glad I was able to get the win, though. Is it different when you, when you look up and eat in your face? No, I treat everybody the same. But, you know, as soon as the game's done, it's back to being all love, though. John, just one for you personally as well. You've been around this league and coached in basketball for a long time. But what was it like coaching your first game as a head coach? And, and just, I suppose, being the man where it's all running through, when you're down to your football mindset, how was that experience for you? Yeah, very, like, very emotional day. Uh, I've never been up so early in my life before. Um, I, I, I've certainly never eaten breakfast before 6 a.m. before and uh, walking, you know, so like there was a lot going through my mind. You play a lot of different scenarios through your mind. Um, so to get the first one done and dusted with, uh, I can come in a little more composed next time.